Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Uh, today we are going to study have and go conjugation part two among English grammar rules. Have and go conjugation part two. Making questions with have and go. To make a question in English with to have and to go, we normally use do or does. For example, you have a girlfriend. So this is affirmative. And question, you second person singular, do you have a girlfriend? You'll see that we add do at the beginning of affirmative sentence to make it a question. We use do when the subject is I, you, we, or they. These are first and second person, singular and plural, and third person, plural. Another example, she has a boyfriend. Now, subject is she, so we use has. So in this case, we use does and then base form had. So does she have a boyfriend? When the subject is he, she, or it, which is third person singular, we add does at the beginning to make the affirmative sentence a question. Remember that we don't use the normal third person conjugation has or goes. So here, you use base form. You don't use has. Word order of questions with do and does. The following is the word order to construct a basic question in English using do or does. First person, singular, plural. Second person, singular, plural. Third person, plural. Do, I, do you, do we, do they have a new bike? Third person singular, does, he, does, she, does, it, now base form, have. So in this case, you never use has because we already have used does, third person singular form. Now, do I go to school? Do you go to school? Do we go to school? Do they go to school? And third person singular, does he go to school? Does she go to school? Does it go to school? The verb that goes here is the base form of the infinitive. The infinitive without two before the verb. So base form means the infinitive without two before the verb. Instead of the infinitive to have, we don't use to, we just use have. Now, there are some examples of questions with have and go. The following is the word order to construct a basic question in English using do or does. You, second person singular, do, you. Now, have a dictionary. Do you have a dictionary? Mary is she, correct? So she, does she, and after does, we use base form. Does, does Mary have a dictionary? We first person plural. Do we go to all the meetings? And she is third person. Does she go to all the meetings? Now, when we have questions, we can answer with short answers. Short answers with have and go. Do you have a car? Yes, I do. Do you go to church? Yes, I do. Affirmative. So we use do. And do you have a car? No, I don't. It's a contraction of I do not. No, I don't. Do I have time? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do I go to work today? 
Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do you both have time? So both is plural. Yes, we do. And no, we don't. Do you both go to school? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Do they have a car? Do they go to the pub? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Now, third person singular, he, so does. He have a car? Yes, he does. So does question, does answer. No, he doesn't. Does he go to university? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does she have a car? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does she go to the gym? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does it have four wheels? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Does it go slow? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another English grammar rules as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.